Women's full and effective participation and leadership in all areas of life drives progress for everyone. Yet women are still underrepresented in public life and decision making. Women want and deserve an equal future free from stigma, stereotypes and violence. A future that's sustainable, peaceful, with equal rights and opportunities for all. To get us there, the world needs women at every table where decisions are being made. In South Sudan, as in everywhere, women make up approximately 50% of the population. I think this permanent constitution making process should set the tone for political debate over decades, not just the, the forthcoming um, few years. And as such, it's important that every single South Sudanese citizen understands the process and finds a way to get their voice heard and input into the process. Of course, women making up that 50% are absolutely vital in that, especially in their role as, as peacemakers uh, and bringing their own perspectives into the, into the process. Girls are supposed to be submit, submissive. The boys are more superior to the girls. So that is how we were brought up. And this is still continuing up to now. The women are seen as inferior and the men are seen as superior. When we go to the village, people will think, they will begin to hear only about the men. I mean, what men are saying. What we say is not very much important, you know, sometimes. That is the challenge we have. Because in the village, the women always are taken as people who don't say things that are not true. So they only hear what the men are saying. The women in parliament are trying their best to do a lot for the community and to speak to the issues of women. And uh, as it is, uh, we are uh, uh, getting there uh, little by little. The current parliament is, uh, actually has got quite uh, a number of women. I started as an activist uh, speaking to the cause for the liberation of South Sudan and South Sudanese people. That's how I got into politics and how I got into uh, the parliament. It's empowering them, it's teaching them, uh, it's, it's help, helping their knowledge of, of the constitution making processes and the role of and the importance of their role with regard to the civilian population and especially with regard to women representing the voice of women. Yeah.